It is the story of the morning, and it may be the story potentially of the year, depending on how this all plays out. Elon Musk suing OpenAI and the company's CEO, Sam Altman, alleging they have breached the company's founding agreement by putting profit ahead of benefiting humanity. Is it true that Elon Musk and Sam Altman are going to fight it out? At a time when there is a lot of excitement about artificial intelligence, Sam Altman, the CEO of Microsoft-backed OpenAI, and other executives are being sued by Elon Musk. People are shocked to hear that the two business tycoons are going to battle it out in the court. Why do you think Elon is upset with Sam? The lawsuit filed by Musk puts two of the most well-known tech executives in the world against one another. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, and other executives are being sued by Elon Musk, who claims they have abandoned the company's original goal of creating AI for the benefit of humanity broadly. OpenAI is supported by Microsoft. The tech mogul was approached in 2015 by Sam Altman and OpenAI co-founder Greg Brockman. According to Musk's attorneys in a lawsuit filed on Thursday with a San Francisco court, Brockman and Altman promised to establish a non-profit lab that would research artificial general intelligence for the benefit of humanity. Musk, who was one of the founding members of OpenAI in 2015, left the company's board in 2018, four years after declaring that AI posed a potentially greater threat than nuclear weapons. The website of OpenAI Incorporated still states that the company's mission is to guarantee that artificial intelligence helps all people. However, the court filing claimed that OpenAI had actually become a de facto closed source subsidiary of Microsoft, the biggest technological firm in the world. The focus on OpenAI on boosting Microsoft's earnings, according to Musk's attorneys in the case, violates that arrangement. The complaint claimed that rather than working toward the good of humanity under its new board, it is not just developing but actually refining an AGI to maximize profits for Microsoft. OpenAI did not respond to requests for comment right away. Microsoft opted not to respond as well. To compel OpenAI to adhere to the founding agreement and return to its mission to develop AGI for the benefit of humanity, not to personally benefit the individual defendants at the largest tech company in the world. According to Musk's attorneys, the lawsuit was filed. The disturbance of late in the AI world is being talked about everywhere, and some experts feel this will lead to a drastic decrease in the collaborations happening in the AI world. Do you believe that the AI industry is facing the brink of collapse? Microsoft has announced a new collaboration with French startup Mistral AI. Microsoft is under investigation by EU antitrust investigators about its purported $13 billion investment in OpenAI. The startup is thought of as Europe's equivalent of OpenAI. The US tech giant announced that it was investing in the company to help it unlock new commercial opportunities and grow to worldwide markets. At a time when there is a lot of excitement about AI, the lawsuit puts two of the most well-known tech executives in the world against one another. With its launch in November 2022, ChatGPT, an open AI chatbot, has become a global phenomenon. The AI tool swiftly rose to become the fastest growing consumer app in history and sparked the introduction of competing chatbots from Microsoft and Google's parent company Alphabet. Altman and Musk have both been in the news. X was acquired by Elon Musk for $44 billion in October 2022. Musk is regarded as the richest person in the world and is the owner of SpaceX, a company that makes rockets and satellites, as well as Tesla. He recently shared information about the developments in brain chip implants made by his business Neuralink. In July of last year, Musk also revealed the launch of XAI, his own artificial intelligence startup. Altman's relationship with OpenAI hasn't been smooth in the interim. In November of last year, he was abruptly let go from the company, a move that shocked the tech community. A few days later, the American businessman, who was a key player in the AI boom, rejoined the company. Will the future be defined by AI? Will humans be replaced by AI? 
The answer is that the effectiveness of contemporary AI will depend on a lot of factors that are beyond our control. What is Elon Musk's take on the future of AI? Musk believes that everyone may someday lose their job due to artificial intelligence. AI has the potential to become the most disruptive force in history, according to the billionaire technological leader, who is also the owner of their recently established AI business XAI, the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and the CTO and executive chairman of X, formerly known as Twitter. He made the statement late. At a gathering held in Lancaster House, the official residence of the British government, Musk declared, we will have something that is, for the first time, smarter than the smartest human. It's difficult to pinpoint the precise moment, but there will eventually come a time when employment is no longer necessary. Musk went on, accompanied by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. If you wanted a career for personal fulfillment, you could have one. However, the AI would be capable of doing anything. Musk remarked, I don't know if that makes people comfortable or uncomfortable, prompting laughter from the crowd. There are no restrictions on the wishes you can make if you wish for a magical genie. It's both good and bad, because you don't have to deal with those three wish limits bullshit. How we discover purpose in life will be one of the difficulties of the future. Musk has repeatedly expressed concern about the risks of AI and what it presents to humanity, even speculating that it might even be more hazardous than nuclear weapons at one point. He was one of many IT titans who, in a widely reported open letter published earlier this year, called for a halt to the development of AI that went beyond OpenAI's GPT-4 program. Several other tech executives, such as Alex Karp, the CEO of Palantir, hold a different opinion. Karp expressed his opinion that many of the people asking for a pause are asking for a pause because they have no product, in an interview with BBC Radio. Following a historic summit at Bletchley Park, England, when world leaders came to an agreement on a global communique on AI and found common ground over the risks the technology poses to humanity. Musk made his remarks. All the talk these days is about Sam Altman and his ambitious goals. What do you believe he is planning to accomplish? And will he be as successful as he was with ChatGPT this time? According to Altman, the experience eventually strengthened the business and demonstrated that a team is needed for OpenAI's success. I think it's been great for OpenAI, but it's been really painful for me personally. Do you believe this will demoralize OpenAI and cause diversions in the AI industry? Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Until next time.